Look at these new shades. They look like a fly. I look like a fly. But anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit about all these things that go on in my mind. I think about so many things while I'm driving and I really wish I could just, you know, my hope is just to like, um, like pull you into a conversation between me and God. Like let you listen in on a conversation because that's what I do all day while I'm driving. There's so many things that me and God talk about throughout the day. There's so many things the Holy Spirit speaks to me. Um, I write some of them down. Sometimes I, I talk about them with my daughter when I get home. Um, but anyway, I want to just let you in on a little conversation that that I've had over the past probably a couple days um, about eating, okay? Because I have a tendency to dwell on stuff, okay? Like, like I said, with this new job, um, when I started the job, my weight was a little bit more than I would like it to be. And uh, so I really, I wouldn't say I was dieting because I don't diet and I've never had to diet. I've actually never even had to worry about what I was eating, my weight. I've never really had to worry about that because I've always been very active. But over the last uh, probably seven to 10 years, um, I took on a lot more driving than I did physical activity. So obviously I put on some weight. I quit smoking, had to take my mom in, and there was just a lot of things going on. And I really wasn't paying attention. Okay, but now, fast forward, um, I have a job now that's more active, and I'm physical. And so now I'm noticing that I'm hungry more often. I mean, I actually feel hungry. And before, I don't think I was actually feeling hungry. I think I was just eating out of maybe like taking my emotions to my stomach and just trying to feed my emotions like that. I don't know. But anyway, it's catching up with me and I'm dwelling on it a little bit. Not so much in a bad way, but it seems to be the way that God does with me is I have to dwell on things. I have to search the spiritual reason behind my behavior, my, maybe my attitude, maybe my feelings towards somebody, or maybe the way someone's treating me. I always have to take it to God. Okay? Because he says, everything that you see here, everything that's here is just a shadow of the things that are in heaven. Okay? So if everything here is just like a shadow of what's in heaven, there has to be a reason behind everything. Okay, according to God. There has to be God's way, and then there's our way. And personally, I don't, I don't like to, uh, I don't like to just have like just one answer and just say, okay, that's it. I want to dwell on it for a while. <laughs> I, that may drive some people crazy that are around me when I dwell on things, but it's necessary for my health for my well-being of my soul, I have to dwell on things until I have the answer, okay? Until God actually, until God actually gets it fully explained to me. And sometimes it takes him a few different ways to explain things, okay? Um, 
I am a learner and I enjoy having a teacher. I like to have things explained to me, shown to me, uh, demonstrated for me. And so that's why the Holy Spirit is so important to me. Because the Holy Spirit actually explains things and demonstrates things in my life that nobody else can because nobody really knows what I'm dwelling on <laughs> except for God okay and so I've been dwelling on my eating okay I've been focusing on like why am I eating this or when I eat this I feel like this and actually when was the last time I ate and you know the kind of things that are easy to eat that are fast to eat it's like I'm driving so I can't really eat a, a plate of food while I'm driving so I'm thinking about how I'm gonna eat it oh it's exhausting sometimes but but what I'm saying is I was talking to God about this and I just keep saying this I've been saying this every day why am I so hungry why am I so hungry even when I've just ate, like, I'd say two hours goes by. I'm trying to correct myself and make myself go longer, like, shorting, short-term fasting, like, going more, like, hours without eating, and then I will eat a little bit, okay? I've also added something to my diet, which I've done in the past just because I like it, and I do feel an increase in energy when I drink the uh, apple cider vinegar with a lemon or sometimes two lemons I'll put in my water um, mixing it with water two lemon slices and apple cider vinegar maybe like I guess it's like a teaspoon I guess I don't know I just pour it in there but I like the flavor of it and I do notice that it boosts up my energy a little bit so um, I've added that to my diet because I noticed that when I drink the apple cider vinegar water, I can go longer without eating. So it actually curbs my appetite, so I'm not so hungry, just for no reason, just because I feel like eating, I don't know. But, and just like when I was smoking, okay? When I was smoking, I tried to quit smoking like a bazillion times, and I couldn't quit smoking. So I noticed, because I was dwelling on it, that when I thought about quitting, I would want to smoke more. So now it's just like eating. It's like, I think about like, how much am I eating? What am I eating? And how often do I do it? And why am I even hungry for it? You know what I'm saying? It's like, a lot of it is the sugar and a lot of it is salt. I don't know why those two go together, but I hear that a lot. People like salty and sweet together. I don't know what that is, but that's not what I'm dwelling on. I'm curbing my appetite, okay? And and so it's like that when I dwell on it, I get hungry or I'm thinking about food and probably not even that hungry. I'm probably just thinking about it because I'm dwelling on it, okay? So the thing is, what God shared with me was, or his answer finally came through to me, okay? Why am I so hungry? And the Holy Spirit said, because what I have given you was made to be shared. Okay, and I'm like, that? Ah, I'm supposed to be sharing all my snacks <laughs> with everybody? Uh, no, no, no. That wasn't it. What, what I started thinking about was, if it's not, if, okay, if I give you something, then you're supposed to share it. That way you won't be like a glutton. You won't be eating it all yourself. And then so I started thinking about Jesus, how he, you know, gave the fish, he gave the bread, he, you know, breaking the bread and sharing it. Everything that Jesus did, he shared with everyone. He told them, you know, when what I what I do, I'm doing only what the Father is doing. Okay, and so God is my provider. Okay, I keep saying that. I believe that. He shows that to me, and I started realizing, you know, it's it's really 
it's really um, it's really simple, but it's complicated when your emotions are involved. And my emotions have been rampant, okay, for different reasons. And I'm trying to stay busy and focused. I mean, I, I, I want to stay, you know, successful. I'm not, I'm not successful. I don't like that word. I want to stay, um, I want to stay true, okay? Let's put it that way. I want to stay true and loyal to my, to my faith, okay? My faith is in God. So, if I'm putting my faith in God to help me with all areas of my life, then it has to be my weight, my my believing, and and He explains these things to me. Okay, so like I said, a lot of things go on in my mind. I I toil with a lot of things in my soul about life and about personal issues about you know, people in my life, and I take them to God, take that to God, and I dwell on it until I get the answers that I'm waiting for, and He feeds me, and then my soul is satisfied, okay, it's all inside, everything is inside, the bread, He says, I am the bread of life, so if He's constantly filling me now think about this on food okay if you're constantly eating and you're not sharing it then you're getting everything you're taking on all of the weight okay and if you're not exercising after that you're going to put on weight you're gonna you're gonna become carrying around all that stuff you're taking in Okay, and so back like to Jesus, he's sharing what the Father is giving him. Okay, and so the Father gives me food for my body, to nourish my body. Okay, but if I keep taking it in and taking it in and not sharing it, remember, what God gives me is spirit. Okay, what he gives me is of the spirit. The shadow of the things that are here on earth. Remember, everything here physical is from just a shadow of what's in the spirit, okay? So he's feeding me and feeding me, and I don't do anything with it. Then I start carrying it around inside of me, and it's not coming out, and I'm not sharing it. And and that's not what God wants from me. I don't know anybody else's relationship with God except for mine and this is how he shares it with me he says I am the bread of life okay that's what he tells me I am the bread of life so I I shouldn't be hungry I shouldn't be so hungry so that's why I asked him that I said so why am I so hungry then and he said because what I have given you was meant to be shared and I said wow so then all this stuff that that you and I talk about I have to share it like that's crazy because then I have to figure out how much to share what to share when to share it okay just like my diet so I started thinking about the apple cider vinegar and then I added it to my diet physically added it to my diet so that I can go longer without eating and um, give my body a chance to, you know, process this stuff I've been snacking on. Because <laughs> I really only eat, like, one big meal a day. Most of the day, you know, since I'm driving, I don't really have, like, big meals and stuff. So, to somebody else who sees me, they might just be like, I don't think you're overweight, okay? But it's not on the outside, okay? It's all about the inside. It's how I feel inside. I feel heavy, okay? And that's why God was telling me that what I give you is meant to share. And I know it's spiritual. I always know that because that's how my relationship is with God. I am with God in the Spirit. So these are the things that I see. And so... Uh, 
uh, anyhow, so literally, it's not so much of what I look like on the outside that concerns me. Because, honestly, I can be okay with my weight. I really can. I can be okay with my weight if, I, if I'm wearing it right. You see what I mean? It's like, if there's something going on inside of me, like, like say I'm, I'm joy, a joy, for example, okay? If that's inside of me, you know, you really don't, you're not worried about the inside or the outside, okay? But when you feel anger or when you feel sadness or depression, you want to you want to hide that. That's something you don't want people to see, right? But when you have joy, you want people to see that, okay? And all that stuff happens inside. So when I I concern myself with what I'm eating and what I'm doing physically. It's because it is what's going on inside that matters. Because that's what you carry around. Okay? People can't see that, but you interpret it that way. Your reflection from the inside out is like, oh, I'm overweight, or oh, I'm, you know, I'm so ugly. But you're not ugly. You're beautiful. You are beautiful because God made you that way. Everything that God made was good. He looked and he saw everything that he had made. And he saw that it was good. See, that goes into a whole nother, a whole nother conversation that God and I have had. And I may talk about that soon. I wish I had more time to read. Like, when I'm when I'm processing these things, I would like to read. Maybe I would, maybe I'll find some time or make some time. But, uh, yeah, our bodies are the temple of God. And so we have to, we have to consider what we take into our temple. Okay? We have to take good things into our temple. And so we can produce the things of the Spirit. Like, oh, I would love to taste the fruit of self-control right now right now like that's what I want to be hungry for I want to be hungry for self-control and long-suffering and, and peace and patience and joy and all that stuff I want to be all the time but you know we have to be fed by the Lord by his word and he feeds that to us as we need it so we just have to be patient That's a fruit of the Spirit. So, you know, if you're joined to the Spirit with God, then you're going to have these things inside of you. So, maybe you can share them as I am trying to do. And you won't be reflecting on so much of the the world, okay, the world is out here, okay, the world is what we see, and we get so consumed with it, okay, and so, if you have to dwell on things for a little while with God, you know, Jesus went and did that, Jesus went away and spent time with the Father, and uh, we can do that too, that's, that's what we can do. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful way of life. It's a beautiful relationship. And I am going to learn. I'm learning to share it more. Just, you know, in, in God's way, in God's time. The more he teaches me, the more I grow. conversation with God. 
I know why I'm so hungry now. I'm not hungry for the things of the world. I'm hungry for the things of the Spirit. And since you can't see the Spirit, we just grab what we can see. And sometimes that's not the healthiest thing for us to do. Okay? We have to consider what we are taking in our bodies. Okay? So, more of Him, less of me. More of Him, less of me. I love that. You guys, be safe. And thanks for listening. Bye-bye.